let me introduce you to a mathematical love triangle and that triangle is between mass, density and volume. How does the triangle look? At the top we have mass. Beneath mass we have density multiplied by volume. What we need to do to complete our triangle is simply draw a line in between and that line represents divided by and then our triangle is almost done. I don't really know why I call it a love triangle. They may or may not love each other, but you get the idea. Let's complete our triangle. Now if you want to find the density or volume or mass of an object, what you need to do is simply cover up the part of the triangle that you're looking for. Say we were looking for volume. We get our thumb and then cover up volume on the triangle. What's left over? What we have left over is mass divided by density. So that's what we'd have to do. What if we were looking for the mass of an object? We would cover up mass and we'd be left with density multiplied by volume. Let's see if this works in action. In our question, we have something like, let's change colour, the volume of sulfuric acid in a jug is 500 millilitres and roughly speaking its density is 2 grams per cubic centimetre. We need to work out the mass. Work out the mass of sulfuric acid. Okay, so what are we looking for? We're looking for the mass, so we need to cover up the mass on our triangle and we have density multiplied by volume. Just as a, a way to remember the triangle, you might want to create your own abbreviation. I was trying to think of one, but to be honest, MDV, movies don't vote, it doesn't really make too much sense, but you get the idea. You can think of your own. But let's use it. We have the density and we have the volume and we're looking for the mass. If we cover up mass, that's density multiplied by volume. 500 multiplied by 2 is indeed 1,000. So that's 1,000 grams. 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. And there we go, we're done. Happy days are here. Mass, density and volume. Let's do another question though. One more, just to kind of bed in this example. I'm going to cover up what we've done and to give us some space. Okay, let's draw the question inside here. How about this time we need to find a different element? So for example, the density of a dumbbell, which is one of those weights that I have in my room, is something like 15 grams per centimeter cubed. And its mass is 15 kilograms, which is accurate. I mean, it's quite heavy. I, I struggle to do more than about 30 in each arm, but there we are. And that didn't need an apostrophe. Work out the volume of the dumbbell. OK, what are we looking for? We're looking for the volume, so we cover up volume. What do we need to do? Mass divided by density. The mass is 15. So do we do 15 divided by 15? Well, 
the mass is 15 kilograms, but the density was 15 grams per centimeter cubed. So if we're giving our answer in terms of centimeter cubed, we need to be talking in terms of grams, not kilograms. How many grams is 15 kilograms? 15 kilograms is 15,000 grams. There are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. So we've got the 15,000 grams divided by the density, because it's mass divided by density. 15,000 divided by 15 equals 1,000. That's 1,000 centimeter cubed. And that love triangle turned out to be useful after all.